Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, this is going to be the first video in a many series of videos of my new series is going to be pretty much a pretty much a day-to-day -day basis on using a old Xbox 360 as you can see right here. So pretty much what this video series is going to be about, it's going to be me just, you know, playing on this 360 and using it until it eventually succumbs to the sad death of Red Ring and the question is how long is it going to take for it to get Red Ring and so a little backstory on how I came about this whole idea for this series is just because I'd always wanted a another 360 uh, original one but the sad thing about them is that most of them if not all of them eventually at some point in their life will get Red Ring and if it hasn't happened yet, it'll eventually happen. It's just the power PC architecture they use for these things just do not work very well. <laughs> so, and they also, you know, obviously the overheating thing, the whole issue with the red ring. And I thought it would be cool to see, you know, me using it pretty much every day until eventually it has a demise of red ring. So the backstory on how I got this 360, I've had a 360 before uh, actually when the 360 first came out the original one like the one shown here this is not the original original this is like an arcade release because it has the HDMI on the back but the other one I had was an original original 360 pretty much launch day bundle uh, I got it back in 2005 or 2006 whenever these things came out my grandma actually got it for me and my brother uh, it was the second week of it actually being out. So it wasn't launch day, but it was like two weeks after it came out. You couldn't really find them in stores. Like people had already got snatched them up, either put them on layaway or like were just waiting for more to come in. And my grandma found one for us uh, at Walmart. Somebody decided not to put it. Uh, they had it on layaway and decided not to, you know, go through with the whole layaway payments and took it off layaway. And my grandma calls me and my brother. But calls my parents and puts us on the she puts us on the phone and she's like she's like oh I found this Xbox 360 I wonder if you guys want it and we're like you know hell yeah like it's like yeah we want it like it just came out like nobody can get them so it was really cool that was an awesome thing my grandma used to do for us was just like she would be always on top of the game with like technology stuff and that was one of the many gifts that she gave us and 360 was an awesome one. And we've also, uh, I had a lot of fun. That was basically my first, it wasn't my first console, because my first console was in 64 and a PlayStation 1. But this was the first console I got into actually, you know, gaming online, because I didn't game online on a PS2, I didn't game online on an Xbox. Uh, I didn't even know about online gaming on a console until the 360 came out, pretty much. That's when it first was very, you know easy to set up type deal with Xbox Live. So I, you know, spent so much of my middle school and high school days just on 360, like playing with friends, old COD, like so many memories. So I decided, you know, I want to play it again, but I didn't want a slim because I've had a slim before. I've had a couple slims and I just don't, I like the style of it. You know, it's very sleek, very modern, obviously, but I just something about the white one just keeps calling me back and you know that's the whole thing with this video series what I'm gonna go into is you know how long will this thing last because the guy I actually bought this I was gonna buy it from GameStop but then I was like fuck GameStop they don't need any of my money anyways screw them they sell them for 40 bucks the white ones 39.99 but they don't come with a hard drive they don't come with the Wi-Fi adapter which you can see that little antenna back there has a Wi-Fi adapter and they don't come with sometimes I think they come with wire controllers sometimes they don't I think they come with wireless controllers now but you know GameStop's just like I don't know I've seen a bunch of people getting them from th uh, GameStop and you know they're just like quick fixes obviously a lot of them are quick fixes on what they did to them to like get rid of the red ring temporarily but a lot of them it's just bad reviews like maybe like a week out of the box and it gets red ring so didn't want to deal with that, so I went on Facebook Marketplace, which is one of my favorite places to go into now. It's almost pretty much replaced Craigslist for me. But I go on there and I see this guy posted one for 30 bucks. 
So it came with the hard drive, the unit, the it came with two power cables, a controller that's kind of disgusting, a couple games that I don't really care about and I'm not going to go into what they are, and the Wi-Fi adapter. So the whole bundle, 30 bucks. I met him, only had 20 on me. I was actually going to willing to go to the bank, but the guy was like in a hurry for some reason. And I was like, yo, I can run to the bank real quick and just get you the, like, $10 extra. And he's like, no, 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 whatever. He's like, I'm in a hurry. Like, I'll just take the 20 Like, I don't even use it anymore, blah, blah, blah. So, all in all, I got a pretty good deal on it, 20 bucks. So, you know, if it gets red ring, which is the whole experiment here of me using it day to day, um, 20 bucks, not too bad. But, um... Like I said, this is gonna. So this is the first video of the whole series. I'm gonna try to do uploads at least three to four times a week, maybe even more. Just when I do some heavy play on it, I'm gonna give you updates on how it's doing, stuff like that. Obviously, not a lot's gonna change day to day on that part, but you know, I'm just gonna give you updates on me just using a 360 in general in 2019, because right now my main console is a PS4 system, and you know that's great. I love my PS4, and all I really do is play Rocket League on it, so obviously, you know, I don't really have too much money going on right now, just because of bills and whatnot, so I decided, you know, 360, I can get, like, a ton of games for, like, dirt cheap anyways at yard sales and flea markets, wherever I go, thrift stores, stuff like that, versus, you know, buying a new game for PS4 is, like, 60 bucks, so decided, you know, go back to the 360, enjoy it for a little bit longer while it still lasts and as you can see i have it hooked up to this behemoth of a tv which will actually be its own separate review but i actually got that at a thrift store for five bucks and i've always wanted a kind of wood paneled tv because it reminds me of the one i actually used to have back in the day um my parents actually gave it to me and my brother at the time when we were well they didn't give it to us really they just put it in the bonus room for us to play with or uh, have our systems hooked up to it like our 64 and stuff like that so a very similar model i'm not sure if it was exact same but i just remember the wood paneling being on the side and pretty much we used that tv something like this all the way up until the end of probably about i would say halfway through my 360s life i used this old tv until my parents gave us the Sony Trinitron CRT, HD CRT TV, which did like 720p HD. And then finally, towards the end of the 360s life cycle, I already had like a LED, or a, no, I had a plasma screen TV at the time. And I was using that, which was like 1080p. So that was the end, but most of it, probably half of its life sat on a CRT TV like this, so I felt it is necessary to have it plugged up like this. Even though I will say it is very hard <laughs> for me to go from like a 1080p system to that because it's just like, and it might just be this TV too, it's a little fuzzy, so I can't really sit like close to the set like when I used to as a kid, I could like sit like pretty much two inches away from it and just keep looking at it. But now it's not like that at all. So I have to sit back kind of a distance in the back area over there where my computer setup is and kind of look at it, which is nice because the TV is like 27 inches. So it's pretty big to where I can see everything that's going on. But um, I don't know. I just thought this would be a pretty cool series to do because um, I think it would be a very good motivation for me to actually put some upload, uh, upload some content on my channel. And, you know, I usually do computer stuff and stuff like that, but hey, you know, it's got a power PC processor in it, baby. Like, <laughs> it's close enough for me. <laughs> but, um, like I said, uh, I keep saying like I said, like I said, like I said, but anyways, hopefully I will keep putting videos out at least minimum three a week. And I'm going to hold myself to that. But obviously, if anything major comes up with a 360, I'll be putting out a little bit more videos on that. And I'll be playing through some games too. And I'm not going to be doing no screen capture, no Elgato, no like fancy stuff. I'm just going to be putting my phone to the TV and you're going to be watching some terrible quality <laughs> gameplay. But hey man, it's, it's a CRT, you got to love it. And I'm going to be doing it. And my first game that I'm going to be playing through is a great game. It's Fallout New Vegas. So, 
already got the dust from the TV going up my nose here, but first game I'm going to be playing through is Fallout New Vegas, and that's going to really push the limit on this thing running its fans at max speed. <coughs> Man. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, <laughs> fans are going to be going to max speed with Fallout New Vegas, running, and tomorrow I will get a video out doing some gameplay of that for a little bit. And we're going to see how this bad boy holds up, and hopefully I can continue doing these as long as it takes, because I love the 360 to death, it's one of my favorite systems, and I know for me, being 23 and a lot of other people like me, a lot of memories were made on the 360, and a lot of friendships I had made in school, also during like just online play, just going on to different game modes and stuff like that, playing Michael Myers on COD 4, just crazy stuff, man, I don't know, you guys know, if you want to let me know in the comments, like, what's your favorite thing you ever did on a 360, if it was either playing some COD or just kicking some 10-year-old kids out of a freaking party because they were too annoying, let me know, and with that, I will be back with a video tomorrow.